Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey Ember. Hello, honey. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Boo, really? As soon as I hit record. <laughs> so for today's video, guys, I want to take a look at Feudy Beauty's latest upload, A Shocking Way In. Unless she's smaller than when she went through this whole bedbound era, I'm not going to be shocked. But I don't want to waste too much time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Thank you to all the new subscribers, uh, everyone that likes, comments, becomes a member. Really appreciate you. Let's dive right in, shall we? Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey guys, hey. I know your girlfriends love to watch me. So what better way to say I love- Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, I am still recovering in bed and I am also making this video in my PJs from bed, which is why I'm not on cam for this one. I have chosen to add hearts as the background, and I will sh also show some video clips. I even tried just sitting and- Wait, are we- is this just a talking video? Shut the fuck up. Ugh. Shut the fuck up. This is why I don't do the fucking live streams. Oh my god. Look at me, cammed up, and not even Chantal can do it. And she's been talking a lot of shit lately on reaction channels that they don't even show their face. Girl, you don't either. Planning to do cameos and it became unbearable. The pain that is. After about the pain. <laughs> two minutes, I have to lay down. Anywho, I managed to do a weigh in though. I mean it sounds serious. I hope she's going to a doctor about it, but I mean, she did share a photo that maybe was them at a doctor's office, but like the decor was so off. It looked like a kid's like playground area again undressed therefore i just took a picture of the final scale reading so do we trust it you guys i don't know my last weigh-in was not a good one if you remember about yeah you were up six kilograms stupid american here i don't know what that means 11 days ago i know y'all said it was like s seven or so pounds i think or so i did a video talking about my slip-ups and if i recall my weigh-in was somewhere in that video i was back up to 165 kg and everyone was hold on let me look that up 363 pounds wondering how on earth i gained 13 pounds in less than a week jesus uh fuck dude this bedbound arc is not going to be good for her then. Um, water retention from- And I don't know. I slightly believe that, like, it's her sciatica or whatever she says it is. I, I believe that. Um, so I'm sure it is very debilitating. But, like, girl, this is not what you need. And, eating it and she's probably not doing much to actually, like, help it. It's my only guess. There are so many reasons why weight fluctuates. 13 pounds girl i was on a slippery slope of just eating crap and tons of sodium and all the things that are not good i wouldn't say you aren't still for me and those things in excess so a few days before that weigh-in or approximately two weeks ago i had dropped down to 159 kg i was very happy with that now, as you can see, my weigh-in today, I weigh 155 kg, which is a huge drop. That's 341 pounds. I cannot even remember 345. the last time I was in the 340s. Now, being essentially bedbound for- Do we believe this? For the most part, I mean, I can still walk around the apartment slowly for a few minutes at a time and use the washroom on my own and shower, but I figured I would gain weight, not moving much. The thing is, because I'm in constant pain, constant as in the pain is always there, but it's tolerable when laying on my side with a pillow between my knees. Um, so because of the pain, I don't have as much of an appetite sometimes. I mean, I believe it. I believe it honestly that she wouldn't be as hungry if she really is laying there in that much pain all the time which like sounds fucking unbearable girl 
go to a doctor's, go to a hospital or something, like, she can, she can benefit from the uh, medical system over there, can't she? I still get the head hunger, though, and there's boredom of laying in bed and wanting to snack all the time. Is that why you'd be laying in bed hitting your shisha? But I'm surprised I have lost so much, considering my eating schedule has pretty much been as follows. So because I'm not cooking right now, we will order one main meal. So I usually eat very healthy for this. Chicken. Bro, why so much, dude? Holy fuck. Chicken, fries, whatever that, I don't know, is that like a dip or something? And then that huge salad. I mean, girl, you could just have the salad. That's enough. But you need another like whole half of a chicken? A salad every day. And I usually eat like half a chicken. So like the breast. <laughs> Literally half a chicken. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Oh my God. I buy a rotisserie chicken. It lasts me like a week. <laughs> and some of the leg, uh, which I don't really love, but. Then why? It's tolerable the way this place cooks it. Then why? Just get the salad, dog. Just get the salad, and if you really need to, just get, like, a side thing of fries. That's what I do, honestly. If I'm feeling, like, really peckish in a day, I will get a, th like, little side thing of fries. Just because, like, it warms my soul. And then I'll get a salad with it. So it, like, <laughs> balances it out, you know? Getting some useless carbs and then some actual nutrients. For chicken legs and dark meat, I find that if it's cooked like almost burnt or burnt pretty much like burnt a bit like so that it's not i don't know <laughs> i don't like i can understand what she's saying i i think i'm picking up what she's saying i'm not a fan of like super super juicy like when i buy the rotisserie chicken there's no way i'm going to eat it like right off of the bone and whatnot from there i need to cut it off cook it some more and whatnot because i don't like the texture at all Moist, dark meat. I like it very burnt. But with the chicken breast, yeah, it has to be moist, of course. Um, I don't know. I just, I think it's because... I don't know. I, I don't be eating chicken just, like, straight up. So I don't really care about moistness. Because the dark meat, the leg, and the thigh have so much f more fat that when you cook it longer, the fat kind of, like, dissolves more. Well, duh, girl. Anyway... I'm weird, I know. <laughs> She's just such a quirky girl. Our girls here in Girl World, yo. We got the quirkiest bitches, don't we? <laughs> so I eat chicken, uh, a salad every day, um, hummus, or oh, okay, a hummus. salmon bowl, for example, uh, with black beans and guacamole. And I mean, that actually looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, guys. If she's actually eating this, it doesn't seem that bad. Although, I'm still saying, girl, you don't need half a fucking chicken. <laughs> How many chickens die alone a week for Chantal to eat? <laughs> it's at least, like, probably pushing 10. Or brown rice. What I love about the bowls is they pretty much have, like, every food group in one. And I really enjoy those. And when I'm able to, like, make things on my own again, I think I'll get the ingredients to make those more regularly. Was she sitting in the kitchen? So then, every day, I've been having an avocado smoothie with... Ugh. I like avocados, but I hate when people put them in places they don't belong. Honey and pistachios. This uh, I wouldn't be able to have that allergic to pistachio. This is a very common drink here at Juice Station. That's the one bummer about like a lot of Middle Eastern desserts. A lot of them have like nuts in it that I can't eat. So I would love to try them, but I can't have them. I feel like the only one I've really properly had is like baklava. And it's because some people make it with like walnuts or almonds or, you know, anything but like pistachios. Um, they're called avocado juice with um, nuts and honey. And when I first came to Kuwait, Salah introduced me to those. He was having one and he said, you want to try a sip? And I said, what avocado smoothie? Ew. Because avocados, I'm very finicky on them. I don't know how people, some people can just eat them just like that with nothing else. Just See, I can. I can eat an avocado straight up. 
but like plain avocado. I don't like it where it doesn't belong. Auto to me, they taste like plant butter if <laughs> if you eat them plain. So I have to have them mixed with things, and this is the best. It's so good. I should make some guac tonight. I have a whole bunch of avocados that are perfectly ripe. Um, avocados are so healthy with good fats and fiber and vitamins, which are essential for healing. I mean, healing. even the doctor is prescribing vitamins for me. So, you know, our body needs certain... Oh, girl, I, you're probably not getting enough or what you need. Let's be so for real. You're definitely not. Vitamins and minerals to kind of speed up the healing process. So then after this main meal and the avocado smoothie, I usually have hours later, like late at night, because my sleep pattern is all mixed up. Sometimes I, like, you know, I nap throughout the day. Um, the pain makes me more tired than usual. So um, at night, I'll eat a mixed plate, uh, which I'm able to actually stand long enough to make myself, or Salah will help me and just bring me the things he knows I like. I mean, we know she's bed bound, but like having your partner bring you late night snacks in bed, that's a, that's a bit much. And I'll just kind of like prepare it in bed. So I'll eat a mixed plate of pita bread, labna or cheese, olives, pickled eggplant, and a small bag of chips. Dude, that's so, ooh. That's not good, dog. That's not good. Late at night, that's not good. So it's so it's weird to me that I've still lost so much because... Yeah, I would, I'd feel like she'd be retaining water like crazy. You know, especially the avocado smoothie, I'd imagine, you know, and the the night meal is kind of... See, if anything, you should have the avocado smoothie more at the end of the day to maybe curb those cravings for the other stuff later on of higher in calories but um i don't know like it's i don't know if it's just i haven't been counting calories so um yeah anyway just mo i mostly eat one although to be fair though lately i've just kind of been doing like one meal or like really small meals throughout the day and then like a tiny li i let myself have a little snacky at the end of the night <laughs> Everyone needs a good little snacky. But, like, I get bored of things real quickly, so I can't sit there and eat a whole bag of anything because I get so fucking bored with it. I'm hungry. But I do need to eat because of the medications I'm taking. You know, anti-inflammatory medicines uh, can cause stomach issues. So I try to take them with food. Anyway, I will weigh myself again next week. I do want to crank through this guy so I can order some dinner. You can see what happens. I went back to the doctor today, so if you uh, want to know. I'm glad she's giving us an update, though. I really am, because it, I don't know. I don't want to sound like a beezer or anything. It's concerning, though, when you see these women going through very alarming situations and they don't talk about it. You know, it's more like a rather pretend it's not going on type of deal, so... In that sense, I'm glad she's at least coming forward, but who knows if we can take it really at face value. Y'all know I'm new to this realm of girl world, so it's, uh, you know, I don't know how to go about it. Any updates about that? Uh, in full, you can watch my live stream I did um, tonight. It's my latest live stream, and I talked about how I went to the clinic, back to the clinic, uh, nearby to um that's the photo that i had seen and like isn't that such weird decor for a doctor's office isn't it truly like why does it look like a dungeon just for a follow-up basically and they asked me you know how my pain level is um just to see that and there's nothing that they're doing about it dog like kind of thing well actually the way it works like i was in a wheelchair because um i know a lot of people are thinking that i'm wheelchair bound now girl if you're bed bound if you're openly admitted to being bed bound what the fuck does it matter if you're in a wheelchair too like we get it, it, it we get it i think i don't know i think it genuinely is like a nerve issue thing I mean, it's most likely probably exacerbated by her weight, but I do genuinely believe that she's having some type of nerve problem. Although she's able to lay there like in bed for hours at a time and you don't hear her being like, ow, 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 ow. So 
and um it depends like until i um am able to i don't know what do we think guys do we believe it heal more and or do we think she's actually like bed bound like just too big to walk and walk longer distances because of the injury um it's very painful so a lot of people who have this type of injury um in their back if it's sciatica my mom has had that and yeah it's very debilitating so like that's why i, I lean i'm leaning more towards believing her because this is very much how it is when you have it back or sciatica pain it's debilitating like it's hard to be in certain positions for a long time without it flaring up so like it's basically a pinched nerve isn't it like sitting is extremely painful it's more painful than standing but also losing weight will make it a lot better um but standing is also painful and then the thing with standing, like if you're, if I know you're gonna think like, well, if it's so painful to sit, why don't you just walk more? And um, I was able to walk from the car to the um, clinic entrance, like, you know, go into the entrance, the administration, go see the doctor. Uh, but then there was like an emergency at the clinic and the doctor had to like tend to that because it was late at night later at night and so we would be standing around and sitting around for a while and then we had to move to a, a place in the clinic that was far away so um yeah i had help with a wheelchair for that and when i go to the clinic depending um i find that if i stand too long then my leg gets a lot of weakness so like muscle weak it's a lot of weakness <laughs> what weakness and numbness and so i opt for the wheelchair like just so i don't fall <laughs> you know so that's i think it's understandable that's why but as soon as um this is healed i will be back to walking that's for sure um still looking into treatment options i'm not sure i'm just trying to see if it will heal on its own uh, on its own i've been Girl, it sounds so fucking painful, like... ...told that this type of injury, um, even like herniated or slip discs, I should say, and sciatica, which kind of go hand in hand, um, because sciatica is just usually a slipped disc, uh, parts of the disc slipping out of order and pinching, uh, pressing on the nerve, causing that nerve numbness and pain, and it's so bad. I've never experienced pain like this in my life, like I've said, and I don't wish it on anyone. It's so, so, so painful. <laughs> and like I said, it's debilitating. You can't do much for very long, but I'm pretty stubborn. Like, you know, if I have the choice to just laze around, then I'm more likely to do it um, in my free time. But if I don't have a choice and I'm like forced to be in bed, um, for a little while, it's okay, but then after I start getting f um, fed up with what I can't do, and I st I think that's understandable. I try to push myself to do it, but with this type of injury, like, if you're... But, I don't know, Miss Thing, I don't know. Are there too many examples of Chantal really pushing herself on her channel? Pushing yourself to the point of pain, it can make things worse, is what the doctor told me, so... Um, yeah, I have to take it easy until this is healed. And a lot of rest is, you know, what is going to help with that healing, basically. I'm just trying everything people are suggesting. Um, you know, like, um, ice, then hot, then ice, um, sunlight. I thought going from hot to cold wasn't, like, good. Everything, but... Uh, yeah, I'm mostly just also taking, um, I, I get an injection every other day now at the clinic and it's like a pain medication What the fuck? and also some vitamins injected like into my, um, hip, kind of hip area, like low. Ow. Every other day, dude? Or back, sorry, lower back area. Oh. But like off to the side. That sounds painful. Ugh. So... 
and then I also take on my me sitting here piercings and covered in tattoos and I'm like ugh. <laughs> I own some strong anti-inflammatories that are like um, non-steroidal um, in inflammation medicine. And I take... I thought she said she was on steroids. Also a mild muscle relaxer. Um, I don't think that they're all... Like none of the pain medications are very effective because they all don't target the nerve and... They don't have the same kind of medications here in Kuwait and it's hard to, you know, have access to proper pain um, management, so. Well, girl, that's kind of your fault. That's kind of your fault. Not gonna lie, you decided to go mi live out in the Middle East. I'm just doing what's a- I'm not gonna, like, speak down on these countries because I think some of them are very, like, you know, far along and have great medical systems. Not all though, dude. I don't, I can't speak on Kuwait. It looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous country. And I know Kuwait is very rich uh, oil wise. So I'm sure they have just fine medical establishments, girl. But you probably also don't have any type of insurance or like traveler's insurance, anything like. Available right now. Um... I mean, I don't know. Can people on visas even get insurance? yeah <laughs> but i'll be i'm doing okay and i just hope that it goes away you know I've, like i said i've been told that um this kind of thing takes time to heal so um sometimes it takes like months. she's so lucky dude that she can just like not even pop up on camera and make her money sometimes it takes a couple of months sometimes a few weeks just I think she's banking on it taking a few months. I think she's enjoying this lack energy content. It depends. So I'm trying to, uh, yeah, lose also some weight is good because especially in the abdomen, that can really pull on your vertebrae and just cause more problems. And which is, you know, why if you have a large abdomen, you know, a lot of pregnant women get sciatica. They develop sciatica when they're pregnant because of the extended abdomen and i have that you know you can hear the chuckle in her voice <laughs> she's not even pregnant but she's like i have that um extended abdomen <laughs> not pregnant just being overweight so um that is something that i have to fix and being in the 340s is seriously Girl, it's only like 20 pounds down or so. Like, you got a ways to go. Um, very encouraging. Like, 341, so I only have a few pounds to be in the 330s. And, <laughs> like, three pounds. Get down to, like, the 200s, girl. That would be dope. And that will be a new low. Imagine if everyone in Girl World just got skinny before Amberlynn. In years. I have not been that weight in a long time. Um, so... It's more for health at this point than anything. What? It should always be for health, dog. What the fuck? What? And I hope that I can achieve that um, we'll for my better health and future. And I can get back to doing things for you guys. I just, yeah. Want that would be nice because let me tell you, why, I don't like these just like talking things. I don't like them. Touch on that a minute. I know that I haven't been camming up and i will you haven't been camming up but you've been having the audacity to come for other people that don't say the you know the main reason is that also who made that photo that is so not realistic to chantal um being in <laughs> is that her yerba mate <laughs> Bed, like I mentioned, is the least painful position for me at this point, and therefore uh, I do a lot of my content from bed. Um, probably even my cameos are going to be from bed. <laughs> so, but she doesn't like to film in her private area. So, um, I just have to be comfortable, and I don't want to show my room. Um, yeah, I don't want to show my room when I'm live streaming. I don't want to show my. Do we think it's because maybe there's two beds in there? Room in videos of me just laying down, you know, I just, it's not uh, appropriate anymore for the, you know, for my life. And I just also, um, the less I have to get dressed, the better. 
better. I do have to force myself to, you know, go through the painful motions of getting dressed. I do get help from Salah, but um, just to go to the clinic and things like that, you know, so uh, nothing else is going on other than... I'm not sure who she has there, if it is Salah, but I'm glad she has someone if she genuinely is in this amount of pain. Could you imagine having to do this shit by yourself, dude? Uh, there's no, uh, n no conspiracy. She would have to, mm, I don't know, dude. She would have to check herself into like a rehab facility or some kind. Theories and that, I, that's basically just what it is. And I'll be back on camera um, before you know it. Why mention it if it's not true? You know, um, I've always... A hit dog will always holler, you guys. He's been on camera for years and years, and I do miss filming with my face. I prefer that. But as soon as I'm better, whenever that will be, and whenever I'm able to get out of bed and do more content, I will do it. So anyways, I guess that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you some updates. And again, I'll weigh in probably next week and uh, sometime. And until then, I wish you all the best and take care of yourselves. Bye. All right. Bye, foodie. Foodie actually uploaded like just 30 or so minutes ago um, called I've Made a Decision About My Channel. So let's check that out. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hello, foodie. If it's personal, it's private. Ooh. Something tells me she's going to probably delete this. <laughs> a private life is a happy life. Hey guys, hey, welcome back to another video. Where's she getting all this artwork from? Yo, <laughs> I want to start by saying a big thank you to the sweetie who made the cute art I will be using in this video. So I have decided to make another change to my content. Recently, I have decided to make my entire relationship private and I really like this. So I have new. decided to do the same for some other things in my life as well. I have decided to keep anything related to my health private. That includes anything related to my weight also. I will not- Girl, you just came on here touting about what a good job you did. What the fuck? I won't be talking about anything health related at all or how I'm feeling, etc. She literally only comes on live to tell everyone how she's feeling. When I make content from now on, it will be totally unrelated to anything private about myself. I will not tell the internet any more about my mental health, diabetes, weight, etc. I'm planning- Girl, why? The last video was so good. Like, what? Is it because we're, we're conspiring against you? I'm making videos and live streams going forward. The videos I would like to make are basically cooking and eating videos. Those do be the most entertaining ones with her, though, I'll be honest, so, I mean, hey. So I'll probably start my video with some cooking clips and then finish with some mukbanging of what I prepared. Girl. Girl. There. <laughs> I have some recipes I would like to share and some new ones I would like to try. For the live streams, I will develop a VTuber style of streaming and will try my best to come up with some theme nights or gaming, but I will completely ignore any comments or questions that I do not feel comfortable answering or that are too personal. So don't take offense if this happens to Saying, hey, Chantal, how are you feeling today? That's apparently too personal now. You. I remember reading a quote that there is so much peace in living a private life. My biggest flex is that nobody ever knows what's really going on in my life, where I am, who I'm with, or my next move, unless I make it known. Therefore, anything anyone says is just an assumption. Privacy is my luxury. Privacy is my peace. Okay, girl. And not telling anyone your business, especially not the internet. And it's so true. I have shared every aspect of my life pretty much for six years. And this channel anniversary, which just passed, I want to try and be consistent with bringing you content that is not about my life. 
girl. What? That's what people sign on for. When I can, I will do travel calls. Like, aside from the clown aspect of it all, people sign up because they want to genuinely support you. Content as well. And they want to see your life and whatnot. Not everyone is a fucking troll. Even vlogging around Kuwait is not health related. So I can also do that. And also shopping hauls as well. Girl. Just what you need. I will leave you with a final health update though, because I already mentioned this anyways in my recent live stream, that I am on the mend, alhamdulillah. I did not need a wheelchair today at the clinic and I was able to do a lot more walking and activity than usual. Okay, okay, but you can't film that. With much less pain. Once I'm well enough, I will be back to planning some travel. I will not let anything hold me back. Even Is it almost the three month mark? She's got to leave the country again to renew the visa. And if I have to roll around on the ground to get there, I will not stop living my life in any way I can. I know many of you enjoy the cooking and mo It's so weird, the contrast between the last video and this one. Bongs, and a lot of you don't. That's okay, one does not have to watch content they don't enjoy. Actually, but like if people want to support you dog, like wouldn't you want to make content for the people that actually are supporting you? I wouldn't recommend doing so. So yeah, that's my plan for the channel going forward. I like having a mix of both recorded videos as well as live streams. My real dream though is to travel and experience as much of the world as I can. So before it's too late. Far, I've been to the United States in particular. <laughs> Oh, when you're from Canada, that's not that big of a deal. <laughs> particular Florida, New York. Uh, I've been. She's definitely a Florida girly. I could have, I could see Chantal beezing down in Florida at some point. To Cuba, Kuwait. I will say Cuba is one place I have wanted to go to for a long time. So like, hey. Qatar and Thailand and more to come. In that's it, really? Inshallah. It might not seem like many places to some, but for someone like me with anxieties and health issues. Yeah, to go to those places specifically out of all the ones that you could have gone to first, it's that's quite a jump. It's a good start. I n I've never been anywhere in the Middle East, so I mean, hey, I don't know as I ever would, though. That's the only thing. It's not very safe for me. Never thought I would want to travel or that I would ever, ever travel this far and live in the Middle East. Yeah, that's wild. This goes to show that no matter how much future planning you do, living in the present is more important because plans always change. Girl. I don't know, though. Can we say that this whole, like, Middle East arc is really good for her? Things happen. We change. Life changes. Long-term planning. All oh, these fucking... Little quote things, ugh. Live in the present, remember the past, and fear not the future, for it doesn't exist and never shall. There is only now. It just doesn't work well with me, and I'm too spontaneous. It's corny. And change my mind too frequently. It also shows that any- I, That's clearly represented between this video and the one that we just looked at, dog. Thing is possible. This is- it's giving Amber Lynn. If you allow it. Like- you guys, you don't appreciate my weight loss content, so I'm not giving it anymore next day. So, guys, what I'm doing to lose weight. <laughs> now, I know I have said the same thing many times, and I always go back to over... Is that supposed to be Chantal? ...somehow. But I really think I will stick to my guns this time, guys. I think it's because before, I didn't actually value my privacy... And I would clam up in the past due to being overwhelmed with the internet and the constant opinions on how I should live my life, what I should eat. Well, girl, that's the internet. <laughs> so on and so forth. That would become too overwhelming for me. Well, now, I do get overwhelmed. Sometimes. But I'm more used to the social media environment and its ways. And this time, I just simply value my privacy more than ever. Now, I'm sure... Until someone pisses her off and then she's going to go do something. People will attribute this wanting the privacy solely so I can binge eat and do what I want without... <laughs>
Well, there's the reason why she's doing it. <laughs> Accountability. Well, the part about being accountable is sort of true because, no, I don't want to be accountable to strangers on the internet. Now, please know, so many have helped me through tough times. You should be accountable to yourself, though, girl. And I know many of you care, and I appreciate you guys, and maybe I can... But I don't think it's necessarily good for these women to use the internet to keep themselves accountable, because then it's more so going to be done out of shame, because she knows she's going to get hate for it if she doesn't, instead of being, like, out of wanting to actually better yourself, you know? Make a private Discord server to talk to caring people, and we can be a support group or something, but I do not feel I need to be accountable to strangers. It is much healthier to seek support in real life from people I know and trust. Well, yeah, no duh, dog. We've been saying and you need to get out there and talk to more people. I used to always say that opening up online was like therapy to me, only to completely be Girl, no, it's not. Be blind to the fact that it is also simultaneously damaging my mental health. There is tons of content I can make that doesn't involve me exposing my privacy in any way. Please know, as viewers, that this new approach... Who does she talk to to, like, get this idea in her head? I feel like this is brought on by something. ...will lead certain people to become desperate and speculate all kinds of made-up theories for drama and views. And I can guarantee you none of it will be actually truth or fact and will no doubt come without proof. No doubt you will see people saying Foodie Beauty wants to clam up so she can binge in private. Listen, the fact that I have binge eating disorder. I mean, shit, maybe it is. Maybe it is. After that real good video last time, maybe now she's just like, well, I did so well. So I'm just going to like have a little fun. It's not a secret. And I have a right to deal with these things in private. I have a right to not want people to exploit my problems online for their profit. However I choose to live my life is my choice alone, and if I no longer discuss it online, it becomes no one else's bit. This is, it's giving shrimp gate, you guys. It's giving shrimp gate. Business. Anyway, I think I've rambled enough, but I wanted to make an official announcement on these changes, so you all, my viewers, know what is going on. <laughs> is Chantal in her shrimp gate era? And what I have planned for now. I don't like explaining myself to strangers for food choices or weight issues, and I like the idea of safeguarding my private life and health. All right, guys. That I don't have any intrinsic, like, issue with that. That is all, and I wish you a wonderful day. Bye! Looking for something else of mine to watch? Oh, gosh, no, okay. Why are you promoting the Salon Chantal channel when you're keeping everything private, girl? What the fuck? <laughs> That doesn't make sense. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Do we think our girl is really having this nerve issue or is she actually bed bound? Who knows? Who knows? Um, but let me know your speculations down in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member even. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much to everyone that tunes in to each video or, you know, if you just pick and choose which topic you want to hear me talking about. Either way. Thank you for tuning in and coming to the channel. We do appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.